Good morning, my rogue readers. My name is Erin Rogoff, and welcome back to my booktube channel, where books are the topic of discussion all day, every day. And in today's video, we will be discussing Edgewater by Courtney Scheinmel. Forgive me if I do not pronounce her name correctly, I am not quite sure how to pronounce it. With Edgewater, this will be a partial review because this is the first book of 2021 in my DNF zone. And for those of you who don't know what a DNF zone is, that's a did not finish pile of books. And I got about 60 pages into Edgewater and I just decided after that point that I was not going to finish it because it really wasn't my cup of tea and I would rather read something else rather than waste my time with Edgewater. Edgewater is a young adult fiction, contemporary fiction, realistic fiction, mystery novel, and it is a standalone. There are books like Edgewater, such as As You Wish by Chelsea Sidoti, The Agony of Bun O'Keefe by Heather Smith, and The Gauntlet by Megan Shepard. With the tagline of Edgewater, it goes, Courtney Scheinmel's Edgewater is a gripping story of scandal and romance shame and redemption, and how one girl must come to terms with a shocking past in order to understand who she truly is. That sounds cool, right? Well, that isn't exactly the case. Without the spoilers, the summary goes as far as Lori Hollander used to be a rich girl who went to boarding schools and equestrian camps. It's been 12 years since Lori's mom up and left town leaving Lori and her younger sister under the care of their unstable Aunt Gigi to live in a decaying mansion called Edgewater Manor, which is a falling apart eyesore of their privileged community. Lori desperately tries to keep her family from collapsing, but then she meets Charlie, the son of a senator, and Lori fears what will happen if Charlie finds out the truth about her and her family and where she comes from, so she holds him at a complete distance. Their secrets and lives are bound together in more ways than one, so we are left wondering how. And you would expect by page 60 to get into the mystery of that, but it was just such a slow burn novel that it was not even worth finishing in my personal opinion. What did I like about the book? There's actually only two parts there. The cover art is as mysterious as the plot of the book, and you are left wondering what caused the manor to be such an iconic part of the book. It's so intriguing, but that's basically the only thing. And then the other thing that I liked about the characters themselves, I really enjoyed the maturity of Lori's character because she had to grow up faster than most and did not deserve all the many negatives in her life. What did I dislike about the book? There was so much it gives me a headache. I loathed Lori's mother and aunt and sister. Lori's mom left the family with a boyfriend to be in Europe. That's irresponsible and selfish. And then Aunt Gigi is clearly unfit to be anyone's guardian. I'm serious. She's more up and down than me when I'm in a bipolar swing, and that's saying a lot. And then Susie... Even though she had good intentions, she was indirectly abusing animals past their expiration, if you know what I mean. What person in their right mind would hoard dead animals in a fridge along with all the food you eat and not give the animals a proper burial or put them in airtight bags so they don't touch your food? That is just disgusting. I had to clean out my fridge after reading that part just because it was so disturbing to me. And then I also hated how Lori was cheated out of her money. She wanted to get her money out of her trust fund and away from her aunt, but the bank manager who Lori met with said that there was never any trust fund set up for her or for Susie, so that part just had me so confused. And then I also hated how Aunt Gigi spent $1,000 on Louis Vuitton shoes instead of paying for Lori's tuition. And then about 65 pages in, I realized I really didn't like the book at all. So even though I wanted to finish the book just to say, hey, I read Edgewater, I didn't, in fact, finish it, so I can't say, hey, I read Edgewater. I can say I read part of it, and I was so bored with it and hated it so much that I just didn't bother reading it. 
As far as ratings go, Amazon rates the book 4.2 out of 5 stars. Barnes & Noble rates the book 4.5 out of 5 stars. Goodreads rates the book 3.7 out of 5 stars. And my rating? 1 out of 5 stars. I'm not even joking. I'm not even going to go into all of the details about the reviews because they are very mixed. What do I have to say for final notes about the book? Everyone's opinion is different on the book, so if you are intrigued by slow burn mysteries, then this book might be for you, but it is not for me. This is not a personal attack on you because I have a different opinion. That's just me ranting about how much I hated the book. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button to show some support. Subscribe to my booktube channel to get more videos like this. Turn this notifications on to be notified when I have a brand new video uploaded. Keep on reading and have a great day, everyone.